Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is a rollable solar panel. I did a video on this about a year ago. These panels are designed to attach directly to your roof. They have a tar backing that pulls off. It's best to do this to not just put this on top of your shingles. That's uh, not necessarily the best way to do it because the heat of your roof will actually add to the heat of this panel. They suggest, some installers suggest, you put this on a metal sheet and then mount that to your roof. That way if you ever need to take it off, you don't have to deal with ripping this tar off of your roof because this stuff is very, very sticky and as it heats up, it's going to become more permanent. I have gotten the maximum, right now there's a little bit of haze over, um, I've gotten the maximum through a grid tie inverter out of this panel of 111 watts, which is really good considering that it's rated at 124 watts. Most solar panels, uh, th this 80 watt panel over there generally gives you about 65 watts through a grid tie inverter. The one I made myself, 45, it's a 65 watt panel, maybe close to 50. But this one comes really close to it, which means when they did the power rating on it, they went on the, uh, the lower end of the actual power output, which is a good thing. This panel is 42 volts, which is equivalent to a 24 volt charging system. So for that you need a grid tie inverter that can handle a wider power range. This inverter at the time was 125 bucks. Uh, cheaper inverter, they work. They're not the most efficient. Better inverters are more efficient, but you have to figure the price of them and everything like that. You do lose some power through the grid tie inverter over here by the time it goes into your system because this has a fan and this also heats up so you're going to lose some some power that way but overall this is a really good panel you cannot hook this to a smaller grid tie inverter like this this one has a voltage range of 14 to 28 this panel is 42 so this one has a range up to I believe 55 volts like 28 to 55 they they're all a little different and they're starting to make them make these with wider voltage ranges so you can do that but you wouldn't want to hook this you would not want to hook this in uh, series with the panel like that because this will probably destroy one of those. You also would not want to hook this in parallel with that system because you'd have an odd voltage and you it's uh, so keep your 42 volt stuff together with this. You could hook this you could hook a few of these to one of these into your outlet and then you could hook a few of those to one of those into a separate outlet that's fine you just don't want the DC side of everything tied together this is the rollable solar panel I'm your host Dan Rojas thank you for watching and enjoy our videos